Marina dropped the GoPro in the canal. Welcome to Cruising Alba. We invite you to join us on our adventure living off grid and traveling the UK canal network. I'm Miles. And I'm Marina. In the last episode, we hit another bridge, almost had a fire, arrived into deserted Oxford, and visited the first narrowboat that we stayed on before buying Alba. Today we are leaving canals behind and going on a Thames. Originally we were meant to do a loop with London being the final destination, but after speaking with Ed we were recommended to check out Lechlade. It is the furthest navigable point on the Thames and only a few days away. Going there means ending up in Gloucestershire and checking out more of the river that we thought we'd see. And the main reason we are able to do this is the recent news that Miles doesn't need to go back into the office at least until October. Friends I made, and then you tell me how you been. Look a little closer, it's been quite some time. But you gotta let me know if I'm out of line. But there's some words that I just wanna say. To put it all straight before this night turns into day. This is our first time in a river lock. We were greeted by a self-service sign, so had to work out how everything works by ourselves. Lucky, this lock is electrohydraulic. All we needed to do is to press a few buttons. The surface of the water was almost still, perfectly reflecting and doubling up the gorgeous sky above us.
There are 45 locks on the River Thames, each is coupled with a weir. These lock and weir combinations are used for controlling the flow of water, most notably when there is a risk of flooding and provide for navigation above the tideway. The weirs were built in the Thames in the Middle Ages to catch fish and to drive watermills. These weirs were an obstacle to navigation and that's the reason the locks were built alongside them so the boats could be moved between levels. The next lock was manual. The operation principle is the same, but you need to spin the wheel here. We're on our third log today, um, but we just found that there is water and a recycling facilities, so we're going to use that before going into the third log. I made a mistake of putting the camera on the roof of the boat by the side without attaching it to anything. Well, Marina dropped the GoPro in the canal and I I was trying to moor up and jump kind of grab the rope and the GoPro was by the side of the rope and it ended up in the lock. Did you offer to go into the canal? No. And how did you find that? Embarrassing because we had an audience. It was cold. It was quite deep. It was hard to get out of. Really hard to get out of. How did you find it? Well it was where sort of you said and I I thought I'd felt something but I wasn't sure so I just thought I'd just go down there and just feel as much as I can because I don't want to kick it all around. It was an accident. Accidents happen. But on its knees. <laughs> So we just arrived, been greeted by a family of swans. We left around two o'clock and been cruising for about three and a half hours. And we've done you know, three locks. The river is barely flowing. We can't really feel the current. So it feels really safe and easy. It's just really stunning. Also amazing to see people uh, swimming in it. I went swimming in it today. Right, and then Miles went swimming as you seen previously. He's the hero of the day. What are we having for dinner? We have got tofu korma. Smoked tofu korma. Smoked tofu korma. With aubergine mushrooms and cauliflower. Our first sunset on the river. It's been an eventful day. So far, the Thames feels very calm and not much different to being on a canal. It takes a little longer to find mooring spots, but nothing like what we imagined. Sweet early mornings on the river. It's impossible to be surrounded by such stillness and not get positively affected by it. If I ever get tired of the sound of our engine on the move, I think of this. And that every morning and every night, 
we get to experience this serenity. First of all, try and hold your mallet properly a bit back. You want to push it away from itself, so this way, and it some wiggle room at the front, and then a bit sideways, and then it should just boop, pop up. Well, I did all the hard work here. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. It's ready to go. Yeah, we'll let the viewers decide. Okay. I'll do the next one then. Yeah, yeah. There you go. High five. <laughs> Let's get going. Middle of the road is just a feeling of a distant melody unknown. Was doing fine. I minded my own business till the day you took me home. You came into my life like a sweet embrace, swept me off my feet and made me whole again. You came in my life. I wanna see your face. Never will I be. Same again Well, I thought I knew What life was all about That song had already been sung I was going on it's really, really hot. Yeah. After this look, we're going to try and moor up somewhere and go for a swim because it might rain later on. You came into my life like a sweet embrace, swept me off my feet and made me whole again. You came in my life. I want to see. And made me whole again You came in my life I want to see your face Never will I be Be the same again Never will I be Be the same again You're half in. I am in. You're half in. I'm in. This well, is the time. I'm quite happy just here. This is the time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, it's cold still now. Keep going, keep going. You'll get warmer. <sighs> okay, is it easy to come out? Yeah, dead easy. How's that? Refreshing. Yeah? Yeah. Loved it, it's not cold. 
I like that. Good temperature. What about lunch? Have you had lunch? I've had kind of a lunch, yeah. But what do you mean you've kind of had a lunch? You've had a lunch, I've not had a lunch. Right, I am always up for lunch. I'm up for second lunch. So it's just started raining outside. Um, so we've come inside. We're not moving now. We're going to flip the sofa around into comfort mode. This is entertaining mode where you friends and family over. But a uh, day like this, we need comfort mode. <sighs> when the rain stopped, we continued our journey. And these were our first two days in the Thames. So we've done cruising today in two stages. We've got diesel, gas and water. So we're all topped up with everything now. Really expensive because we got it from a marina as well. I've seen no one on the river. So apart from one guy who just said, where is everyone? <laughs> got the whole place to ourselves. There is about six or seven hours left to let late, which means we're going to get there either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow depending on how much cruising we'll do tomorrow. In the next episode, Miles wires up the 12 volt socket. We cruise past some stunning bridges, travel in the rain, get help in the lock, and arrive in the land of rainbows. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to click the like button. Comment if you've done the Thames already, or if you would like to. Extra special thanks to our lovely patrons who support our videos every month. Consider joining our crew to get this episodes early and many other perks. See you in the next one.